What's up, YouTube? This is Arl Yoshi's Usual. I'm Max, bringing you Let's Play Pokemon Red, Twitch Plays Pokemon version. Now, I should probably start the timer, and while I do that, for those who don't quite know what Twitch Plays Pokemon is, I'm actually going to take a moment to explain this instead of telling you to Google it. The short version of it is that, uh, a couple years ago, uh, someone set up a Twitch account for live streaming, and basically set up some commands in chat that allowed people to control the character of a game of Pokemon Red by typing commands into the chat. Now, if there were a, maybe a few people in chat, like 10 maybe, 20 at most, then you could understand it would kind of, you know, it, it would go through, things would be fine. But, uh, it got pretty popular. And it averaged out on amounts from, you know, a few hundred near the very beginning to, uh, starting to average out around 50 to 100,000 people. And in the original version of Twitch Plays Pokemon Red, uh, I believe they hit a max of 1.1 of million. Wait, so things were pretty hectic. And as time went on, uh, because everything was so crazy, pretty much whenever, like, it just increased the amount of crazy things that could happen, and just weird stories were formed about it. And it just got really popular, and you probably have heard of it, even if you don't quite know what it is. You've probably heard some references to it. That executor totally looks like some sort of a lion. Um, but uh, after a year, they made the Anniversary Edition, where they played a kind of a ROM hack version of Pokemon Red that you know, altered it slightly to be more Twitch Plays Pokemon-centric. Like, uh, for example, one one major thing is that all 151 of available Pokemon from Generation 1 were in the game. That's a common thing. But there were also various references. There were some extra things going around. A lot of stuff was changed for it. And this is a physical Game Boy cartridge, basically, of the ROM hack that was made by someone on Etsy, and I might put the link in the description below if they're still selling it, to uh, where you can buy it for yourself. I am playing this on a Game Boy Player uh, with the GameCube, which is probably why you see the whole Z button options thing in the corner. So I'm going to play through this game. I don't quite know everything about uh, this version of the game. Obviously, I've played the original game a fair amount, but uh, I don't quite know all the stuff there is to see here, so this is going to be relatively new for me. So let's do it. New game. Hello there! Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor or the Pokemon Prof. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for fights. Myself. I study Pokemon as a profession. That's why I'm the professor, Dimwit. But first, tell me about yourself. Are you a boy, or are you a girl? Uh, I'm gonna say boy. So, you are a boy, right? Yes, that's what I said. First, what is your name? Uh, in the original Twitch Plays Pokemon, or at least a very original one, uh, they didn't go with the new names. They went with Red, and then the rival was named Blue. I'm going to be going with names for this, however. So, not I'm not trying to, like, recreate how it went in Twitch Plays Pokemon or anything like that. I'm doing my own thing. Uh... Is, hang on. Is this to finish? Yep. Right. So our name is Max. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were a baby. Um, what is his name again? Uh, I'm gonna give you a name. I'm going to call you... Rhino. That's right, I remember now. His name is Rhino. Max, your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. Shrink, Ant-Man! Max is playing the SNES. Okay, it's time to go. Alright, so here we are. This look familiar to anybody? It should. Uh, cannot do anything with the bed. Turn on the PC. Let's get out that potion. We know it's there. Withdrew potion. What do you want to do with- what do you want to withdraw? Nothing. Uh, and we're done. Alright, let's go down these stairs that are for some reason right up against the wall so we can't really go down them properly. Right. All kids leave home someday. 
It said so on TV. Professor Oak next door is looking for you. Well, he could just come over or something. There's a movie on TV. Four boys are walking on railroad tracks. I better go too. I left before they got run over by the train. Okay, uh... Fuck you guys, I'm, go I'm gonna leave. Hey, wait! Don't go out! You appeared out of nowhere! It's unsafe! Wild Pokemon live in tall grass! You'll need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know! Here, come with me! I'm being kidnapped! Grimps, I'm fed up with waiting. Rhino, let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. Here, Max. There are three Pokemon here. Can you count? Count to three. One, two, three. You know they're Pokemon because they're green and fucking everything else is red. Haha! -ha! That's a joke. They're inside the Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. In my old age, I've become a humorous Pokemon trainer. I have only three left, but you can have one. Choose! Hey Grimps, what about me? Be patient. Rhino, you can have one too. Alright, so, uh, of course, you should be able to tell who we've got here. We've got Charmander the Lizard, obviously prefers hot places. When it rains, steam is said to spout from the tip of its tail. So you want the fire Pokemon Charmander? No, I'm gonna keep looking. In the middle we got Squirtle, the tiny turtle Pokemon. After birth, its back swells and hardens into a shell. Powerfully... Oh, powerfully sprays foam from its mouth. Okay. I do not want Squirtle. And... Lastly, Bulbasaur, the seed Pokemon. A strange seed was planted on its back at birth. The plant sprouts and grows with this Pokemon. Uh, I do not want the plant Pokemon Bulbasaur. Now, I've done a couple Pokemon things already. And, in fact, Poke MMO, which is going on right now, I did choose the Charmander. I'm also really not a fan of Bulbasaur. But, I also already know perfectly well what water type Pokemon I want to get, and it's not Squirtle. So, well, it does. Well, it will be. Well, it is a bit repetitive, and I'm sorry for that. I'm going to go with Charmander. So, you want the fire Pokemon, Charmander? Yes. This Pokemon is really energetic. I received a Charmander. All right. Well, obviously we have to nickname the Charmander. We we can't get away with that. Uh. Now, in the original Twitch Place Pokemon, they all, uh, talk about the very original, not the Anniversary Edition. They also started with a Charmander. Well, they also did in the Anniversary Edition. They named it, uh... Well, because, once again, there were lots of people playing, it ended up being named, like, A B B B B B B K parentheses. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> However, I will go with Abby, because that is what they shortened it to. Abby. That's going to be pretty much the only time I'm deliberately having any member of my team reference the original. Everything else is going to be my own choices. I'll take this one then. Rhino received an Eevee! Oh, right. Rhino received an Eevee. Well, I'm going to leave. Wait, Max. Let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Oh boy. Alright, let's do this. Rhino wants to fight. Rhino sent out Eevee. Alright, Abby, let's do this. Now, uh, this is just a pretty standard opening battle. Pretty much just spam whatever. Doesn't really matter if you win or lose. But it has sand attack. That's going to make things really annoying. Can you please not? This is not going well. A critical hit, really? I I'm gonna lose this. I'm gonna lose because of sand attack spam. 
Yep. Ah, oh, well. A two critical hits in a row? AI, what the hell? Yeah, am I great or what? Okay, I'll make my Pokemon fight to toughen it up. Max, Gramps, smell you later. There he goes. Dillweed. Hello, you. Professor Oak is the authority on Pokemon. Many Pokemon trainers hold him in high regard. I study Pokemon as Professor Oak's aides. I study Pokemon as Professor Oak's aides. He really does have aides. And... That's Professor Oak's last Pokemon. I don't get it. Uh, it's encyclopedia-like, but the pages are blank. What does Professor Oak have to say about all this? Max, raise your young Pokemon by making it fight. Raise your children in fights to the death, I say! Now, this being, you know... Alright, real quick, I'm gonna open up the options to see if, uh, I can change it. Uh... I don't need a timer. Yeah, I think I'm, uh, you know, I'm good. So, let's just leave that. Okay. Uh, now... I'm gonna save. Now that that's happened. What I'm trying to say is that, uh, like all Pokemon, like the beginning Pokemon game always was, like Pokemon Red and Blue and Green have always been, we're not running! This is as fast as we're moving. Deal with it. <laughs> uh, hi, I work at a Pokemon Mart. It's a convenient shop, so please visit us in Viridian City. I know, we'll give you a sample. Here you go. We get the potion. So now we have two potions. We also carry Pokeballs for catching Pokemon. Didn't mean to talk to you again, but whatever. Alright, so basically, now we're gonna have a battle. It's a Meowth! Alright. Fortunately, we apparently healed automatically after that battle with, uh, Rhino. I see this is gonna be a scratch-off. You scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. Literally. Th that's all this is becoming. Okay, at least I got a critical hit that time. Oh yeah, also, experience doesn't actually show up aside from just letting you know when you've leveled up. Uh, it's a bit scary, but you can jump from them. You can get back to Pallet Town quicker that way. Yeah, another interesting... Oh my god, if that guy hadn't blocked my way... Another interesting... Hey, it's a Pikachu. Another interesting thing from Twitch Plays Pokemon... Uh, I'm gonna run because I'm totally gonna get paralyzed if I attack it. Uh... Well, it's not really interesting so much as it's kind of just kind of funny. Uh, considering there are thousands, or sometimes hundreds of thousands of people controlling, uh, that that I just did, which was actually accidental, that happened a lot. Jumping down ledges. They could not avoid damn ledges for the life of them. Welcome to our Pokemon Center. We heal your Pokemon back to perfect health. Should we heal? Yes, please. For anyone who doesn't really know Pokemon too well at all, you gotta heal in these Pokemon Centers to restore health. Well, you don't have to do it that way, you can use items and stuff for it, but, uh, typically considered one of the best ways. What the heck is this? Welcome to the Cable Club! We're making preparations. Please wait. Oh. The Cable Club. Was that in the original Red? I actually have no clue. I don't know, I just... Meh. Uh... Can't go up because there's a dead guy. <laughs> we already know that much. So let's head to the Mart. The Pokémart! Hey, you came from Pallet Town? How can you tell? You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Will you take it to him? Alright, let's bring him his parcel. Okay, say so hi to Professor Oak for me. We can't shop here. Not yet, we gotta deliver this first. Yeah, for the first little bit, and probably for a fair amount of this game, it's gonna basically be me playing the original Pokémon Red, is how it's gonna feel. Uh, but as time goes on, I'm pretty sure some more interesting things will happen. Also, my goal is to catch all 151 Pokemon. So, let that be known. That is what I'm going for here, not just necessarily beating the game. It'd be great if I could actually catch these Pokemon, though, but I don't have any Pokemon. So instead... Pidgey, you die. Really wish I had won that battle against Rhino earlier. Would've gotten me a... I think it would've gotten me a level up. Also, I don't quite know if this still runs on the old, like, typing and stuff. Like, is Gus still normal type? I don't actually know. Is Ghost still, like, does nothing against Psychic? I don't know. Things like that. Totally 
gonna die here. Hey, I grew up to level six. Finally. Okay, safe. Uh, I'm gonna heal at my mom first. Hi. You should take a quick rest. Good thing that's still here. Oh good, you and your Pokemon are looking great. Take care now. Goodbye! Alright, Professor Oak brought you a thing. Oh, Max. How was my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to like you a lot. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. Calm down, computer. Athena, calm the fuck down. Why are you making noise? What? You have something for me. I delivered your package. Take my package. Ah, this is the custom Pokeball I ordered. Thank you. I ordered it from Etsy. Also, Rhino's here. Look at his hair going back and forth. What did you call me for? Alright, I have a request of you two. On the desk there is my invention, Pokédex. It automatically records data on Pokémon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Max and Rhino, take these with you. You gave me the Pokédex without even going over to your desk! They, you just magicked them. Holy crap, Professor Oak is like an Alakazam disguise with me. To make a complete guide on all the Pokémon in the world. That was my dream. But I'm too old, I can't do it. So I want you two to fulfill my dream for me because you're ten years... <laughs> ten years old. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. Alright, Grimps, leave it all to me. Max, I hate to say it, but I don't need you. I know, I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one, Max. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm gonna go get that town map now from it from his sister. Hi. Grandpa asked you to run an errand here, this'll help you. Thank you. Use the town map to find out where you are. Alright. I am really not used to playing a Pokemon game with a freaking GameCube controller. This is really weird to me. Okay. So now we can buy Pokeballs. So, that's probably something we should do, because we don't have any right now, and we kind of need to be able to catch Pokemon if we want to fill up the Pokedex. Especially since we're getting things like Meowth and whatnot. Yeah, the Pokemon that you can encounter on these routes has also changed, in case you can't tell, because originally on this route, I think it was basically just Pidgeys and nothing else or something. Oh, we got a critical. Aha! Your growl! It failed! Two crits in a row! Oh no, you- you throw music notes at me! My one weakness! How did you know? You're dead. I now I'm level 7. Haha. -ha. DUDE! MOVE! What the hell is with that guy? Jesus Christ. Okay. Let's heal up here now and then we'll head to the mart. Pokemon Center, blah 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 blah, yes, heal me back to perfect health. Why would anybody walk up to Nurse Joy, ask to heal, and then say cancel? Because it's very... Like, why don't they just do it automatically or something instead of saying, Want me to heal your Pokemon? Yes, that's why I came into this Pokemon Center that only has, like, one purpose, and then talk to you. You have literally one purpose. Alright, Pokeballs. That's the thing we're gonna start with. Uh, gonna buy... I'm gonna just go... Gonna... Nah, I'm just gonna stick with five. Now I'm gonna... Okay, uh... I'm gonna buy one each of all this stuff. And with that... Uh... Yeah, with this I'll be good. I think this is the, the only time, as far as I can tell... Where you get to the- where you cannot actually buy potions at the first Pokemon. That is kind of weird. Um... Alright, I think I'm done now and I can actually pass up here now. Uh... When I go shop in Pewter City, I have to take the winding trail in Viridian Forest. Hi, you. Ah, I've had my coffee now and I feel great! Sure, you can go through. Are you in a hurry? Yes. Time is money. Go along, then. 
Uh, he's just going to show you how to catch Pokemon, that being a Weedle, so don't really care about that. Those Pokeballs at your waist. You have Pokemon. It's great that you can carry and use Pokemon anytime, anywhere. Alright, now, while I am going for all 151 Pokemon, there are also I'm also obviously going to have a strict 6 Pokemon team for Pokemon that I actually use. Any level grinding I need to do, I will be doing on screen for those Pokemon. But if I'm doing level grinding just for the sake of evolving a Pokemon for the Pokedex, that will be done off screen. Or at the very least, I... Well, Grimer? The fuck? Or at the very least, I probably will not show it. And I'll record, and I won't show it unless something interesting happens. And you are a sturdy motherfucker! <laughs> just, I'm just gonna keep scratching this... Okay! PLEASE DON'T DISABLE MY SCRATCH! IT'S MY ONLY MOVE! <laughs> my god, uh, okay. I am gonna try to catch this Grimer. Whenever I see a Pokemon for the first time, my goal is to... ...catch it. Oh, you disabled my Growl! <laughs> okay. Basically, my goal is to catch them if I haven't seen them yet. Uh, but if I have- if I have already caught one... Or, if I have one that evolves into it, for example, if I were to find a Muck after I caught this Grimer, uh, then I will just worry about defeating it. And I failed to catch it. Uh, naturally. Go, Pokeball! Come on! Alright! Grimer was caught! We are now one step closer to completing the Pokedex. Grimer, the Sludge Pokemon, appears, uh, appears, appears in filthy areas. Thrives by sucking up polluted sludge that is pumped out of factories. Ah, uh, Nick, do I want a nickname? I guess I'll nickname it. Uh, eh, actually, I really can't think of a name for it. So, yeah, I'll just exit. Alright, yeah, if you choose to exit without putting a nickname in, it just it, it just stays with its current name of Grimer. Or its current name of whatever it is. I'm gonna run back and heal, because now both my Pokemon are down a lot of HP. Grimer is probably not gonna actually be kept on my team. Uh, however, I will keep it on me for the sake of uh, levels and such. And while Grimer is not going to be kind of a permanent member of my team, I am gonna keep it with me because, you know, it might help in some areas. Especially since... Now that I think about it, I did start with a fire starter, and, uh, you know, there's the whole rock-type gym thing. That's gonna be an issue. Might have to look around here and catch a few more Pokemon. I know there are definitely some Pokemon I do want, though I don't know if I'd be able to get them this early, or if they'd even be helpful this early, so, uh... Well, there is a Nidoran. Haven't seen that yet, so let's try to catch it. Alright, Abby. This is also really annoying because I still only have Scratch and Growl. I could really go for more moves here. <laughs> you keep leering at me. Leer is so weird. Like, the animation and the sound. Just, yeah. Alright. You're down a fair bit of health. Let's try this. Nope, not Potion. Pokeball. Alright, now we caught Nidoran. That's Nidoran male, the only Pokemon in the first generation that actually had gender. Nidoran stiffens its ears to sense danger. The larger its horns, the more powerful its secreted venom. Ew. Whoops. No. Get over there. Okay. Alright. So now that's three Pokemon in the Pokedex out of 151. We've only got... 148 more to go, but uh, we get some evolutions out of them, so we're actually closer than we even think. Not by much, though. This is going to be a difficult thing to do. Now, I'm not. Don't worry. I'm not going to stick around this one area forever. Just keep catching Pokemon. I'm going to keep. I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on. I just would like to try to get a Pokemon I can actually use in the upcoming gym, though. We actually are. We are about to go into Viridian. Ah, eh, Viridian Force is just full of uh, bug types, really. I guess like another grass type moves. There might be some grass type. Actually, right. It, who knows what it could actually be there? Uh, so yeah, I, I think I'm just let's just head into Viridian Forest. I think. So head up here. 
I'm also going to stop running back to the Pokemon Center after every single battle. I just wanted to be sure because now I got three Pokemon, so I think I'm more safe. Alright. And... Oh, people in here, right. Are you going to Viridian Forest? Be careful, it's a natural maze. Rattata may be small, but its bite is wicked. Did you get one? I did not. So, through that door is Viridian Forest, and we're going to go there in the next episode. So, I've been Max, and this has been Pokemon Red Twitch Place Pokemon Edition. And if you want to try to get this game for yourself, in the link in the description below, if they are still, if the seller is still selling it, you can find a link to the Etsy store where I bought it. And, yeah. So, I've been Max, and we'll see you next time for more of our new Pokemon adventure.